everybody today I'm coming at you with a new not very original video and what I mean by that is I have done this uh, specific tier list in the past but I thought I'd revisit it you know I've gotten further into one piece I've gotten to know a few characters a little bit better and uh, you know at first I was just kind of watching through some of Whole Cake Island I haven't really gotten all, all the way at the time but now I've gotten all the way through it I think there might have been some parts I skipped probably like Big Bones flashback or something, but other than that, you know, I've gotten a much better idea of how I feel about characters, and so, yeah, I think some people might be burned in different places, I haven't really looked, I watched my last video the other day, but not the whole thing, and overall, I'll try to keep it pretty brief this time, you know, last time I kind of went into, like, every single character, uh, this time, if they're not in the, uh, not in the top five. I'll just kind of make it very brief. So her, she's from Skype. I can't remember her name. For a child character, she's pretty good. So I'll bump her up for B because uh, Oda doesn't have the best history with you know writing child characters. Alvita, I think she's fine. She's incredibly sexy. You know, with that whole smooth, smooth boob thing. I thought that was pretty pretty crazy yeah you know I need to lose weight too so I wish that fruit was actually real <laughs> I'm baby five it might surprise people but I actually really like baby five I know some people probably find her annoying I find her absolutely adorable and like her her backstory was so brief it was very impactful it really explained why she is the way she is and yeah, although I don't like her Funimation voice I think um, while I think it would work for just about any other character, like Hancock or somebody. I think it works for this one, because in the Japanese version, her voice is very high and adorable. While in the American version, it's low and sexy, which kind of adds a little bit of irony. Given the fact that she's an adorable character, she, granted, she is also a very sexy character. But, I, I don't know, I just think it would work better if her voice was a little higher pitched and adorable, rather than low and sexy. I just don't like it. Melamir. Yeah, one of the best flashback characters ever, hands down. Well, in One Piece anyway. Well, yeah, pretty much means ever, because Bona's like a master at flashbacks. Terrible hair, though. I do not like her haircut. Hancock. Yeah. The people here are pretty much going to be, probably going to be the same. But uh, probably in it, I might make them a different order. I can't really remember the order. But, uh, these two are fine. I enjoy them. I find her very interesting and mysterious. Gamey is funny and absolutely adorable. Oh, maybe we're back down here. I love Gamey. She just, uh, if she contributed a little bit more, I think I'd put a little higher. Garrett? I like Garrett. Can't say I absolutely love Garrett, but I really like Garrett. Her, uh, she was cool. She was cool. Yeah. Really, I actually move her up to here because she ended up being actually a really awesome character, you know. Especially when we got to know her a little bit better and we got to see her relationship to her brother Katakuri, and it's just. Oh, I, the character actually won me over. At first, I hated her. But no, that's one thing Oda can do. They can take characters I hate. The ones with awful, ugly designs. And then just, you know, we love them. Especially since she's kind of like the main motivation to Katakuri. Why he kind of ha hides his face and why he has such an obsession with being perfect. I like her. Lola, she is fine. No. She's a kid, so we'll give her a little leeway. Boring. Yeah. A lot of people really don't like Big Mom. I find her very interesting. Just the psychology of her constantly like uh, acting like a child, even though she's supposed to be this big, mean emperor of the sea that everybody takes seriously. Yeah. I actually like her. A lot of people got it. 
Well, yeah, her running gag with her lusting over Sanji, then hating him, well, pretending to hate him thing, that got a little old. But other than that, I thought she was actually a really good character. He's okay. She's sexy. Is that that little girl from Annie's Lobby? I don't know. I'll put her here because I don't know who that is. If anybody can tell me, please do. Don't hold back. She looks like a train conductor, so chances are this is her post time skip and maybe like a cover story or something. Her? It's fine. I didn't really like her that much. Bonus is fine. She's supposed to be like the VV of Skypea. She, she's not as interesting as Fia. Um, I like her more than pretty much any other character on here, except maybe Lola. So, there we go. I, guess I think that's Lola. I can't really remember. Or that's, uh, what's her name? Gosh, um, I can't remember. It's Lola's twin sister. But that one is awesome. Again, at first I hated her. Grew to not necessarily love her. This is kind of the area where it's kind of like, really like to love this obviously love and best. It's just kind of like, they're okay. She's fine. Actually, like, for his little speech, nah. Yeah, she read right there. Hate her. You know, and actually, like, I find a little quirk where she talks about herself in a third person is really amusing. I actually really like, you know. Yep. I wish she knew how to fight for herself. That would have given her even more points. Probably could have even put her up here if we get to know her a little bit more. So for, for now, love her. Uh, let's see. Found him, slash her. Found them. I'll, I'll refer to them as these two as they, since, you know, I don't know exactly what they identify as. So, yeah, uh, no. And Von Goffin kind of get on my nerves. To be honest, I don't, he, he does pretty well with this, with this one, but overall, I don't think he really, Oda really kind of shows the LGBT people much respect, because he does I'm not an SJW by any means, but it does kind of bug me how they're all just kind of like stereotypes. He is, they aren't very well, but they are. Let's see her. She gave us the best Nami fight to date, and one of the very few Nami fights. Oda, over 1,000 chapters. Nami and Robin deserve to have at least a few more fights in their repertoire. I'm pretty sure I just misused the resume. Let's say that because I'm pretty sure I used repertoire wrong. Is that uh, Usopp's girl, Gaia? I think so. I I liked her. Yeah, she was good. Imagine her being higher up on this list as some of you guys who watch my videos know. I don't really rank these ones in their actual fields, but uh, if I did, she'd be a little higher up. Uh, to be honest, the highest up on here, definitely, but uh, I honestly don't like these two that much. They kind of annoy me. Uh, let's see, Koala. I love Koala. As a matter of fact, she probably deserves... Well, she was part of one of the best flashbacks in the entire series, and then she came back as like a human who's part... He knows Fishman Karate and is part of the revolutionary and is still really sweet and adorable. And so, yeah, I'll put it right there. Definitely one of the higher ups, but I'm not a humongous fan of her. She's awesome. Forgettable. Hilarious. Good. We barely see her, get to know her, or anything. And she's cute. <clears throat> she doesn't have much personality, but I actually really love Marguerite. <laughs> Definitely one of the higher ups of the B tier. 
you know what? She gave the second best, at least second best fight. So I will put her there. She's okay. Yeah. I like her. I like Monet. She's interesting. Nami. A lot of people can't stand Nami, but to be honest, I've always loved her. You know, she's just she's somewhat one of the few people that can actually keep the monster trio in check. Uh, I love not always, but sometimes. Again, second thought, I take that back. <laughs> she can never keep those guys in check, but she tries to. She tries to keep a little bit of order on the ship. But overall, she is as I've thought about it, a little bit more. I don't like her. I love her as much as I did. I still absolutely love her. Definitely top five. Definitely belongs here in my book. But yeah. Go Obia. Well, she does prove one thing. Robin will look absolutely gorgeous with silver hair because that's what she is. She is a pre time skip Robin with. Silver hair, and it just kind of shows one the one thing I don't like about Robin's design, at least pre time skip, is her hair. I do not like her hair where they're just like straight bowl cut bangs and stuff. I don't think that looks good. Galovia is literally a sexier version of pre time skip Robin, which a lot of people don't think is real. It is, and she is Robin, she is top five. But the thing is, a lot of people. See the absolute gush over Robin. A lot of people absolutely love her. Say she's the best woman in One Piece. I really disagree. To be honest, if I love any of them except maybe Big Mom more, no. Uh, there's definitely a gap between her and these two. Okay, if I loved either, <laughs> now I got. It. If I loved either of these two more, they would kick Robin off of here. Yeah, because I just. Robin, she just fades into the background a lot. She's got amazing moments. Things she only has like one one on one fight in the entire series, and it's not even that good. It's good, but it's not great. You know, she doesn't have the person. She's just so quiet and into the back. She doesn't have the personalities of Robin, of Nami, and Hancock, which sometimes are good personalities, and sometimes, especially in Hancock's case, are bad. <laughs> but whatever. She's a slightly night. She's a nicer Nami. To be honest, if we'd see, to be honest, if we'd see her more, more often, she'd be in the story a lot more. She might kick Nami up to top five. Sorry, somebody sent me a text. It's nothing important. I'm honestly not a fan of hers. She annoys me. There we go. See, she's actually a really good representation of the LGBT community. Because she is not stereotypical or anything. And again, not a social justice warrior. But I'm also not homophobic. So, you know. Because she is biologically a he. At least I'm pretty sure that's what I'm talking about. The really tall samurai lady from Wano. Let's see. She's adorable. I think she only deserves to be here. Definitely one of the higher ups though. I put her up there because she does kind of annoy me but like the reason like I can't okay I, I take that back. She did annoy me until I found out she ate a smile fruit, and that's why she can't stop laughing. And then I felt absolutely terrible for her. I felt terrible for getting annoyed by it, but you know. So much you can help, and everything else about her is pretty great. Okay. To be honest, if it was just Prona, if we'd only seen Prona and throw a mark, she'd probably be right here. Because, well, I don't dislike her enough to put her here. I do not like her that much. I don't like her that much. I don't like her either. Hmm. 
Yeah, so apparently Ace would be pretty good looking if he was wearing a wig. Who knew? <laughs> She just looks, they have such a resemblance. Definitely takes after her more than Roger. Rebecca, B tier. I actually really like Rebecca. A lot of people absolutely hate her. I can kind of see why, but actually, no, I like her. I really like her. The only thing is, Oda just uh, she generally doesn't give women the spotlight very much. One thing I really like about her is in the Coliseum. She was just going through everybody and not killing anyone, just throwing them off the side into the water. I found that really cool. So yeah, then Smoke Ridge, you definitely stepped up. I don't like how complicit she was with Sanji's abuse, which is why she's about right here. If she was, if she would have stuck up to him a little bit more, you know, stuck up for him a little bit more, she would definitely be right here. Okay. Kind of weird. Okay. To be honest, she's probably one of the contenders to be right here. I might change my mind. Probably not, but like out of the original top five, there's a chance I might change my mind on some parts. But basically, if I was ranking the A tier, I'd probably, probably put her right here. Yeah. By the way, I love Shaggy. Did I say her name right? I hope so. Anyway, uh, if she wasn't such a crybaby, she'd be higher. I understand why. I don't want to pick on her too much. Cause like you know, she trapped in a decade, trapped in a room for a decade because some pedophile, which for some reason they couldn't just go after and capture. I'm sure they tried, but like, I don't know. They couldn't just be like, oh, hey, they keep coming from the same direction. Let's check over there. I don't know, 10 years to try to find the guy. They didn't make it such a priority. But yeah, ever since she was like, being trapped in a room because a pedophile keeps throwing axes at her, it's like, it, it's, it's such a freaky situation. I can't blame her for being a crybaby, but it, her personality is just. I understand it, but like it's just too much. She was actually pretty cool, you know. She was kind of a really cool, calm personality. And fun fact: she's actually Arlong's sister. I don't know if a lot of you know that. Okay. Don't like her. I get why some people aren't fans of Tishiki. I personally am. She has some personality quirks that I don't don't really love. I think it's so do the rest of these women. Like, I did not like, like, I may not be a fan of Granny Neal. It doesn't mean I enjoyed seeing her go throw her out a window. So, yeah. And as well, I love Nami. She can sometimes drive me absolutely insane. And I do love Ramen, but uh, I often forget about her existence. So yeah, Toshigi, especially since she's kind of whiny, kind of like, oh, since I'm a girl, blah, blah, blah. By the end of the day, I love her determination. I love her swordsmanship skills. And I love how she just... I don't know. I can't really tell what it is I love about Tashigi, but I love Tashigi. She is, without that, one of my favorite women in One Piece. But, uh, yep. She's, uh, she's good. I don't know, not as impressed with her as most people are, but I like her. I don't really like her. That's Sanji's mother. And, uh, she's kind of like the same situation as, uh, Marcus D. Rouge, I think her name is. And she's pretty much her son with the wig and makeup on. And without the curly eyebrows. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Vivi. Her position hasn't changed. She's going to stay up there. She is. Let's see. Uh, she's okay. We hardly know her. 
So yeah, as usual, a lot of people in the B and C tier. And really, turns out there's only like one woman I just straight up hate in One Piece. She is without a doubt my least favorite. It's gonna maybe Flumpe. And actually, yeah, I'm just gonna knock Flumpe there because it lets you one of the, she lets on one of the coolest parts of Luffy versus Katakuri, but right before, but right after being the worst part of it. The coolest part by that I mean, for those of you who don't realize what I'm talking about, is when Katakuri stabbed himself in order to keep the fight fair. Pompe was the reason for that. However, the reason why she had why she was the reason for that he is incredibly annoying and stupid. She's a little stubborn brat who turns on people to the drop of that. I just I don't like her. These are my top five. Uh, should I pick Chibi Shaggy? You know what? There are things I dislike about Dashigi. I find Dashigi very amusing. I love her. But Shaki, she's like one of the few people around here, except Bellamere, that I just can't find anything I don't like about her. I'm sure Dashigi's kind of involved in the story a little bit more. We see her more. Oh, and Koala. And Noji Coat, there's nothing I don't like about these two. But, uh, yeah. But Tashigi is definitely my favorite out of eight, eight tiers. So yeah, it did change. And here's another thing that changed in the original video. I had Nami up on Hancock. This time, no, because I, you know, like, I made my top 10 favorite characters list. Well, not a list regarding just my top 10 favorite, but I made my favorite characters list. And in the top 10, I had Hancock, not Nami, because I realized then I do, in fact, love Hancock more than Nami. I love Nami, but I love Hancock even more. Well, Vivi, just Vivi, is without a doubt one of my all time favorite characters in One Piece. And there are things about her I don't like, but that's okay. I mean, people are like, well, the only thing you don't like, there's nothing you don't like about Shaki. There is nothing I don't like about Shaki. She has literally done absolutely nothing that I don't like. But uh, the thing is, she gets a lot less screen time than any of these girls. You know, she, just, she just does. And Oda, if you did... And like, if anybody knows about the recent chapters, or seen the last couple of episodes, you will know that the warlord system is abolished, and something happened on uh, what is it? Marie Joie. That something happened to somebody from Alabasta, and the warlords have been abolished. And he did say something that Hancock might be in trouble. I'm not going to go into it right now, but if you did anything to hurt Vivi or Hancock, you know, if they're hurt, fine storytelling, but if either one of these two are dead, I will probably have to quit One Piece forever, because these two, I just, I don't know if I want One Piece without them. I just don't know. I wouldn't want them One Piece without Nami or Robin. No, without Nami. I don't want one without Robin, but I can live with it. I don't know how it would work, because it seems you need to have the Bonk list to get to One Piece, but I don't know. It depends the voice of all things. But either, I, I love Robin. But no Vivi or no Hancock. I don't even like how little they are in the series. They're on the series permanently. I, I don't know. I might be done. I love One Piece. I don't know if I'd love it as much if it didn't have these two in it. So, yeah. So, that concludes my video today. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share all when you can. Subscribe, please hit that bell so you can be notified every time that, you, that I upload these videos. And I will try to upload a little bit more often. Okay.
So, uh, yeah. Adios.